Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, longest zigzag path in a binary tree. So you are uh, given a root of binary tree and uh, a zigzag path for a binary tree is uh, defined as follows. So choose any node in a binary tree and a direction, uh, right or left. If the current direction is right, move the right child of the current node, otherwise move to the left. And uh, change the direction from right to left or from right left to right. Repeat the second and the third steps until you cannot not move in the tree. So zigzag length is defined as a number of node visited minus one. A single node has a length of zero. So return the longest zigzag path uh, containing in the tree. Let's see the example. So you are given this binary tree and uh, in this case output is three uh, because uh, this uh, zigzag path is a uh, uh, longest path. And uh, we have four nodes, but uh, um, zigzag length is defined as a number of nodes visited minus one. So in this case, uh, we have four nodes, but uh, we have three subtract minus one. So that's why output is three in this case. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get a code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example. And uh, actually, I don't have to explain the algorithm because uh, it's obvious. If we choose uh, left direction this time, so next direction should be right. And after that, we have to go left and the next right, left, right, right. So it's obvious. But um, so important, one important thing is that, so we don't have to start path from a root node so look at this example. In this case, uh, the longest zigzag path starts from a right child of root node, right? So start from here and uh, go right, left, right. Yeah, so I'll show you how to implement this logic in the next coding section. Yeah, so explanation is always boring, so let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, if not root, in that case, immediately return zero, right? And uh, max uh, max length equals zero. So this is a return value. And uh, I use uh, like a depth first search, and uh, so call depth first search, and uh, passing the root node and uh, direction. Uh, in this case, just so I pass uh, like a, a boolean, like a true false. So if uh, this boolean is true, uh, we go left, and uh, false, we go right. And uh, um, I, we have to count the current length, so passing the zero first, and then after that, return uh, max length. So let's create a depth first search as an inner function, depth first search, and uh, this should be node. Okay, let's say is uh, left and uh, current length and uh, first of all um, so non-local so this is a python way so if we uh, access uh, max length from the depth of search uh, we need to uh, like a uh, write a non-local length so so that we can access the max length from the um, depth of search and then after that if not node, and uh, node is a uh, null, in the case just return. And if not the case, um, check the max length. So max length equal max, and the current max passes current length. And then after that, if is left, and uh, call a depth pass search again, and uh, node dot left and uh, false. So that means next time we go right and uh, length plus one, right? Easy. And uh, else, so we go opposite way. So I copy this and uh, node right and uh, Next time we have to go left, so that means uh, we have to pass a true, and the same thing, length plus one. And uh, 
but、uh, um, I'm sure you get the error. So, and、uh, as I explained earlier,、um, we have to start、uh, the path,、uh, longest、uh, zigzag path from the、uh, root node. So, that means when we have to go to left, but、uh, there is a There, there is a, like a possibility that we have、uh, only a right side, right?、Uh, so that's why,、um, even if we have to go to left,、uh, we check the right side also. So we should add one more text for such and、uh, node.right. And、uh, if we go right, So, next time we have to go left. So, that's why we pass the true. But、uh, this time we have to go to left. But、uh, there is only right pass. In that case, that, so that node is、uh, like a new start node. So, that's why I always、uh, start from one. And then、uh, we do the same thing、uh, when we go、uh, right side. So, When we have to go right,、uh, and then if we have only left pass, we have to go left. So, in that case,、uh, pass the left child, and next time we go right. So, that's why、uh, pass the false. And then, so same thing,、uh, this is a new start position. So, that's why always、uh, pass the one. Yeah, so that's it. So, let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, so where n is a number of nodes in the binary tree. So, this is because the code used this first search traversal to visit each node in the tree once, and the operations performed at each node take constant time. So, that's why order of n. Space complexity is the order of h, where h is a height of a binary tree. So, this is because、uh, this code uses this first search, and the maximum depth of recursion. Uh, is equal to height of tree. So, in the worst case, the tree can be、uh, skewed, like a, a linear,、uh, resulting in the height of n. But、um, in the best case,、uh, like a balanced tree, the height would be like a log n, so resulting in the space complexity is the order of log n.、Uh, that, that is a, like a best case. Yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.